All right, guys. So it's ready for another square body video. Uh, right now, my daily driver zombie suburban is having an issue with the water pump, and um, I think it all has to go back from when I changed the uh, power steering pump a few months ago. Um, it looks like I didn't get one of the bolts to the water pump tightened back down, 100%. And after a while, it sprung a leak, so I'm gonna have to take apart the entire accessories. Uh, drive system off this vehicle and um, change gaskets. Hopefully it's nothing more, uh, but we'll see how it goes. All right, step one, if you're working on any K10, K20, K30, or even a jacked up blazer, is to get yourself a step stool. So, to get this water pump out, I need to remove all of the accessories off the front of this diesel engine. Um, yours may or may not have a turbo. Um, this is an aftermarket turbo on this Diesel, if you haven't seen me build it, go back to my old videos. It's a whole set HX35 with uh, custom tubular manifolds from a Hummer. So let's get this off. Turbo is on the ground, so I'll check it for play and all that kind of stuff. See how it's done the last 10,000 miles. Let's keep going. Okay, alternator belt. I have decided to take this mechanical fan off before I remove all the belts because it will be hard to remove this fan and the water pump as a unit. And if you take the fan belts off, you're gonna have a hard time holding the uh, pulley to get the mechanical fan off. So, mechanical fan, then the belts. So now I've got everything loose on the fan. So let's go ahead and loosen the rest of the belts. Alright, and we can finish removing the nuts. Funny, my friends think my wife did that years ago. There's the fan. So on this passenger side, the alternator brackets top and bottom are bolted to this water pump assembly, so this bracket and the alternator have to come out. So we'll take those up next. Alright, I'm just going to set this alternator to the side with these brackets. All right, so here you can see the water pump. Two big studs that need to come out. The lower 
radiator hose. And on the other side, I got these two studs out. There's a stud down here I need to remove the bottom. So I got one, two, three, four, five. And the water pump still didn't want to come out. So I removed these bolts here. One, two, three, four, five. And there was two on the bottom down here underneath this uh, know, shaft, I guess. And it still won't come loose. There's one more bolt right back here behind this water crossover. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this crossover and get to this last bolt and we'll see if that does it for the water pump. Here is the water pump as it sat in the on the engine. Remember the two bolts here, one, two, three here, a couple small ones on the bottom, and then of course all these across the top, and that'll get your water pump off. So now I need to remove these bolts from the back side and clean all this crud up. Uh, somebody was very generous with the silicone. <laughs> it was like stuck up in the water passage and stuff. Alright, so you guys don't want to see that, so catch you later. It's hot today. Yeah, it is hot. Cheers. Michael Salut. All right, so <laughs> here is what it looks like with the water pump off for all those guys that are interested. You know, um, literally cut gears, no chain for the injector pump. Uh, there's a chain behind it for the camshaft. Um, but that's that's a diesel engine for you. Okay, well I smothered this water pump gasket with uh, red Permatex and it should be resistant to the antifreeze. Um, my gasket could actually came with two gaskets, but this is the only one that fits, so um, I'm not sure what's up with that. I'll figure that out later, I guess. So let's uh, bolt the water pump to the mid plate, and then we'll stab it into the car. There's the second gasket ready to go on, so I'm gonna change my gloves and let's install. We're 
about to drop this water pump back onto the engine, um, but before we do so, we need to coat the studs here. Uh, the one on either side of these water outlets go into the, the water jacket here, so they need to be sealed to make sure you don't have a, a leak coming out there. So it just takes a little bit of a silicone or some kind of sealer on the threads to make sure it, it all stays good. And what's ironic is one of my pet peeves is using like red silicone on a black engine or black silicone on a red engine. And yet here I am doing it. Whatever. And the radiator hose makes a great little handle too. Okay. in here to hold it for now. studs with the long extensions go on the left side and I think the single stud with the short extension goes on the right side but honestly I don't remember so let's see how this works these top two here were studs for the oil filter so I'm gonna change these out Put over here maybe Put a stud over here that over here. So we got the alternator bolted up for the lower bracket. Uh, but before I can attach the upper bracket, I've got to put this water crossover back on. I'm leaving the gaskets on the engine. I'm just going to try to seal them with a little silicone. Hopefully this works. If not, it's not too hard to get it back off. if they go through the water jacket or not so I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing here just in case those bolts go all the way through into the to the water passages all right so now we gotta snake this back in there get underneath here we'll hook it up to the water bypass on the water pump there we go to get in place good so yeah we have to put this in place before we hook up the cruise control the only stud goes on the far uh, passenger side what's that this one here that goes on top this is a ground wire from the battery mm -hmm. it goes on top of the upper alternator bracket and uh, That'll be going on soon enough. Okay, let's see. These are pretty much impossible to show, but there's two bolts 
going in sideways on this cruise control unit. Hard to get to. Oil filler tube is in. One of these days I'll put a proper breather on there. But let's go and hook up this uh, alternator bracket. It's gonna slide up there on top. I don't know, this thing, hang on, this thing's a little wonky here. Let's get it, push this down first and over. And it'll be a long bolt that slides through here. Front to back. And there's like a clip on your injector line that gets hooked up. You guys can't see it, trust me. All right, I'll put that belt on in a second. Um, because we got some other belts to put on first. All right, well, I can't tighten these down yet until I get this fan semi installed because this top number pulley is going to move around on me so let's put that fan on. These guys don't have to be super tight right now, just tight enough to keep the pulley from moving around on you. When you tighten the belts. You need to uh, tighten the uh, power steering belt before you do the, the uh, AC compressor. And try to be careful not to bend anything here. Careful pushing on that pump reservoir. A lot of people will bend the, the reservoir right there. We can tighten the AC compressor. a few other bolts to tighten to make sure it doesn't move. Good. Alright. Alright, well that's pretty much it there. Water pumps installed. All right, now I'm going to uh, investigate my AC line, see if I can see a leak over here anywhere. Because this thing is not cooling down and it's 100 degrees outside. So, uh, um, that may be the end of the video. That's That might be the end of the video. That might be the end of the video. So, uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more square body and diesel videos and um, check out my Corvette video too, it's pretty interesting.